Long tail keywords are not always less competitive than those core head terms. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily find the best low competition long tail keywords that you can actually rank for. To find the best low competition long tail keywords, I always start my search with a head term. So let's go with gardening tips. I'm gonna scroll down to the long tail keywords widget provided by uh, Keywords Everywhere. So you will have access to this widget with the Keywords Everywhere browser add-on. Now you may think that these long tail keywords are easier to rank for than your main head term, but that's not always the case. Sometimes these long tail keywords are just as competitive. So our goal is to find the least competitive ones. So I'm gonna browse through this list and find the long tail keywords that are relevant for my website. Gardening tips for beginners sounds like an excellent long tail keyword that's very relevant. So I'm gonna click on this link to open up the search results for this long tail keyword. And now what I wanna do is take a look at this widget right here. According to Keywords Everywhere, the SEO difficulty of this long tail keyword is 64 out of 100. The higher the number, the more difficult it will be for you to rank for. It takes into account whether or not this keyword is a brand query or not. It looks at the off page and the on page difficulty as well. And if you wanna learn more about these metrics, just click on this link to get all the details. But ideally, I want a long tail keyword that is 50 or below. This one is 64, so it is on the higher end. So this long tail keyword could be pretty difficult for us to rank for, so this is not a good keyword. So I'm gonna go back to our original widget and take a look at some additional keywords that are relevant. Beginner gardening tips. So I'm gonna open up the search results for this long tail keyword and the SEO difficulty is 58. So that is less than the 64 SEO difficulty for the first long tail keyword. And this is in the 50s range, so this might be a good long tail keyword that we can potentially rank for. Now I did find another very, very similar long tail keyword, and that's gardening beginner tips. So I'm gonna open up this search result, and this one is a 59 out of 100. So very similar to this one right here that has a 58 SEO difficulty score. One thing to note is that this keyword has an off-page difficulty of 67 versus 65. Now the lower the number, the better, because that means the top ranking pages are not as authoritative. So if my website doesn't have that many backlinks or is a newer website with not that much authority, then I want a long tail keyword that has a lower off page difficulty score. So gardening beginner tips might be a good long tail keyword that we can potentially target on our website. Now let's take a look at another keyword. Let's do gardening tips for vegetables. Now the search volume is lower, but that's okay because if it is still relevant, then we definitely don't want to neglect it. So I'm gonna open up the search results and the SEO difficulty is 56. So a little less than these two other long tail keywords. The off page difficulty is less as well. So this one is also another great long tail keyword for our website. Now, if you want to drill down deeper to see the metrics for the top ranking pages, just click on detailed breakdown and keywords everywhere will show you the top ranking URLs for this query. So as you can see, many of these URLs have a lower Moz domain authority. So this tells me that many of these domains don't have an enormous backlink profile. And if my website doesn't have a big backlink profile or is a newer domain, then I have a potential to rank amongst these URLs right here. You can see this URL has a Moz domain authority of 48 out of 100 and the on-page difficulty is only a 37 out of 100. So we can open up this URL and analyze the on-page content. And since this URL is ranking pretty high, what we can do is analyze this content and make sure that our content is more thorough and better quality than this one. We can also take a look at the organic ranking keywords for this URL as well by clicking here and Keywords Everywhere will show us the total keywords that this URL ranks for. So we can analyze all of these ranking keywords and pull some keyword modifiers and add them to the body copy as we are writing our content. 
So some keyword modifiers that stand out to me is advice. I see a lot of tips here, but our long tail keyword already has tips. So I'm going to skip those ones. I see successful, great garden, tips and tricks, high yield vegetables, high yielding, high yield. So I would take note of all of these unique keyword modifiers and make sure I mention all of these specific keyword modifiers in my body copy. That way I can ensure that my content is touching on all the topics and elements around this long tail keyword. And that way I will have a better chance of ranking as high as possible. All right, so this is my method of finding low competition long tail keywords. Hopefully you thought this video was helpful. Please like this video if you did and subscribe to our channel. If you wanna check out our other videos, click any of the ones on the screen. And with that said, I will see you in the next one.